While the Chinese people, as a rule, are good people, my business dealings with communist Chinese officials have left me disturbed and concerned about the rise of the Chinese empire. Our global economy is much more fragile than many of us realize. Every time the Fed implements quantitative easing, aka printing more money, two things go up, taxes and inflation. When taxes and inflation go up, more jobs are lost. Many people aren't rich because they're liars. The rise in the price of gold is a sign that capitalism has stumbled. It costs governments money to keep fuel prices low. Oil-rich Yemen, for instance, devotes 9% of its GDP to making sure its people don't riot when oil prices rise. I know the Federal Reserve Bank can continue to print more and more money, but city and state governments cannot. I would say raising capital is one of the weakest things for most entrepreneurs. Warren Buffett is famous for talking about the intrinsic value of stocks. But while many people parrot this phrase, few know what it really means. Everybody could be an entrepreneur, but very few will become very rich entrepreneurs. You make more money if you're generous. Losers are people who are afraid of losing. When I started my last business, I didn't receive a paycheck for 13 months. The average person can't handle that pressure. Credit is another word for trustworthiness. So the Marine Corps really did teach me to conquer fear, and then to go for higher causes, higher purposes. Deflation isn't good, and inflation is easier to cure than deflation. You can't take care of charity unless you take care of yourself first. Academic qualifications are important and so is financial education. They're both important and schools are forgetting one of them. There may be less of a chance of losing all the money you put into a mutual fund than there is of losing all the money you put into lottery tickets, but you're never going to win big in a mutual fund. Most employees only want to know how much they get paid and how much time off they get, they probably don't have the mission in their souls. The idea of going to school and getting a job is the most destructive one in your brain. Start a part-time business and make as many mistakes as you possibly can while you still have your daytime job. During the Enron debacle, it was workers who took the pounding, not bankers. Not only did Enron employees lose their jobs, many lost their retirement savings. That's because they were at the bottom of the investing food chain. From 1945 to 1974, the Western world, including America, was more socialistic than capitalistic, more pro-labor than pro-business. Managing your own property can be a full-time job. Money and investing can be complex, confusing, and often boring subjects. When you think about it, three of our biggest financial decisions in life are made at times of peak emotional excitement, deciding to get married, buying a home, and having kids. As long as you blame someone or something else, something outside you that's bigger than you are, as the source of your problems, the problems won't get solved. Many financial advisors recommend that you diversify for your own protection. What they fail to tell you is that it is also for their protection. Since most financial advisors cannot tell you exactly which stock or mutual fund is a great investment, they tell you to buy a bunch of them.